Are you on your phone? No. Oh, okay. Because we were wondering if it did that because you were on your phone, but it does that to Nina when she's on her phone, but it does it to Bente when she's, I think, on her computer. Yeah, I'm using the computer because the, the camera on my phone isn't quite as good. Okay. Or at least not for this. Mm -hmm. I am really pale. You? Except for like right here. I have a sinus infection. If I do this, it's kind of blurry and then you've got these, so glasses it is. Yeah, I'm wearing contacts right now because I have a sinus infection. Oh, I geez. Yeah, perfect. I can't wear contacts because of the, my prescription in both eyes. It's either close for one and far for the other or, yeah, it doesn't work. So, you ready? Yeah, I actually, I'm working from home all next week because I can't wear a mask right now. Yeah, I can't. Which means I'm voluntarily talking to people on the phone. Nice. We both know how much I love that. Anyways, we're going to cut all of that out. Yes. <laughs> well, are we? Hmm. Yes, 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 we are. Yes, the royal we will. <laughs> so, hi. Hi. Welcome to Distant Stitches. Uh, today is January, th oh, foot off of the stool, so Sue doesn't move the camera and give people, what do you call that, motion sickness? Motion sickness, yep. We are January 30th. 2022 it's been about a month not that we haven't tried to podcast it is what it is we are yeah. episode 24 i am sue also known as crafty knitter seven i'm liz also known as jaded knitter we have instagram ravelry and facebook yep oh did we say we we're going to take off facebook yeah eh. eh. it's still there at the moment it's we don't there. Really use it yeah we have a Ko-Fi, coffee, however you say that, account if you want to donate, which will help us with shipping for prizes. And what do we have that's new, Liz? We have a website. Yeah. Look at me getting all ticky. <laughs> yep, because Sue actually set the whole thing up, which is yeah. impressive. It took a lot of my, how did I used to do that? And then what really messed me up was the theme. I had to go find the old theme because that's what like the theme, whatever it chose on its own. I was just like, I don't it's Yeah, and then it kept doing weird things and we were both kind of looking at it going, did it used to do? No, they changed it. Yeah, and, and then it's we like, but I posted something. Nope. So we have the main page. We have a link to our favorites. So our shops, podcasts, and et cetera. Um, Links where you can find the two of us, which I mean- us. And I posted the last episode 23 on there already. So that's a different platform. So if you're not on Ravelry, at least it's there's YouTube, which the show notes will be down below always. And they'll be on the, the website. So, and Benton designed a, um, what do you, a banner for us. Yes. So pretty. So it's all fancy. Yeah. Look at us, huh? Huh? <laughs> So how's your month been? <laughs> it's January in Canada. Yeah. And I live in, oddly enough, while I do live in Ontario's snow belt. Yeah. I'm not the one who got all of the snow this month. Me. Yeah. Yeah. And Leanne in the East Coast. Yes. Because, you know. started here, but like it just kind of pittered. And then moved east from here yep. and dumped. And dumped. And then kept dumping. Yeah. 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 I'm okay with it because I just watch it through the window. Hubby? Not so much. He has a snowblower and he just got himself a new toy. Did you know that they make battery powered shovels that have a little, it's about this wide. It's got a little rotator on it and you go and it's just, the snow gets pushed. As it's like snowblower. a mini snowblower. It is. I just kind of almost need one of those. Standing below me in our entryway to the back right now because <laughs> he went to use it the other day because it was in the garage and he's like, it's frozen. <laughs> the motor. But it's really neat. Like it helps him do like the stairs and the little between the cars and stuff like that without him having to like shovel. So. Yeah. 
Anyhow, what are you wearing? I am wearing the, I just looked this up, Tranquillo. Tranquillo. <laughs> The Twin City or Twin, Twin, Stitches, Twin Stitches Designs. Designs. Um, we did a knit along with her and with Ginger Snap yarns, yeah. uh, which is what it's made out of. Mm -hmm. Last year, the year before. Last year, the year before. I don't know. I made this and I only finished it last year. So it must have been the, it was right at the beginning, like when we were, so it was, you know, 20 odd episodes ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sue messages me and she's like, here's the link. <laughs> like, I'm not ready. I found, fell down a rabbit hole and was still in my pajamas. It's two o'clock on a Sunday. Well, you know, we had yeah. only talked what, three hours ago? <laughs> Something like that. And this is the Cozy Sunday sweater by Twin Stitch of Design, also in Ginger Snap. And this is their Lux DK. It's like wearing a hug. It's like wearing, a, oh my God, it's so soft. And I have my short sleeved faded out of the same yarn. Oh, very, very nice. So love Ginger Snap. We want to wish Kim well. We saw on Instagram that she uh, had to have surgery. So we're wishing you well, Kim. We hope you get better quick and we're all going to be here. So don't worry about it. Do you have any finished objects? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The mitts aren't on here, are they? No. Okay. I think the socks are still listed as a work in program. Oh, well, we can change that. It's all good. I. Oh, my, those are bright. Oh, yeah. They're showing up bright. And that's about true. To... That's highlighter green. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, they're a little lighter. But it normally screen, doesn't show up that well. That's amazing. It's more of a Kermit the Frog green, like a yellowy green. But yeah, it's highlighter green. They're highlighter green. Nice. Um, these are, let me just switch screens. Did you make those for me? No. <laughs> um, I don't even know how to say that. So. It's, are they the toy voharyu? Yes. Let's see if I got that right. I'm sure Benta will tell me. I. That's not. It's probably reversed. It is on my screen anyway. No, it's not. Oh, okay. So that's the pattern. It's out of this book, which I'm loving. Um, I've now knit two pairs of socks out of this, and I have a pair of slippers that are. These ones. Your next I want to make those. They're on my list. They look really pretty, and I have like the perfect yarn for them. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, between Christmas and now, I've finished a lot of things. Um, and if anyone who's been watching us for any length of time knows, I have like a laundry list of work in progress. There are currently two things on my my whip right now one of them I believe is actually finished and I just haven't found it yet to keep it up. was hilarious because she's like I've got two whips yeah I message people I'm like I don't know what to do with this there's something I, wrong here I don't I, I mm, yeah what I mean like insanity which is bad yeah but that's it that's a lifelong whip <laughs> it really is so I don't actually ever count that as I'm gonna a add that to your coffin right? when you pass away Pretty much. <laughs> I would be buried in that. Um, you all think I'm joking. Nope. I don't know. <laughs> you have um, to pull it out one day just to not. Know. I do. Um, but yeah, I kind of panic because I'm like, I finished all of my. <laughs> and I seem to be continuing this trend because I still only have one. Technically, I've got two things on the go right now. Um, actually it's three because there is actually, I can see the pair of socks from here, but I don't really count the socks because no, those that's are the my... US, you need to have those. Like, I only have three whips. I have a two things in hibernation besides blankets. So it's pretty amazing. Yeah, but we're also talking about the woman who at one point had 25. Oh, I had quite a few. Yeah. But yeah, I, it freaked me out at the beginning of the year. So I'm just I, like, what do I cast on all the things? 
I've been slowly queuing up projects. Good. So I have Those these socks. Beautiful. I should beautiful. probably notice that it goes down the side and goes around. Um, oh, okay. So mm -hmm. the lace in the actual pattern is supposed to go down to the chow. It's supposed to go. But you stopped it. But I stopped it. Um, I realized just after I got to the top of the foot, I don't actually like lace on the tops of my toes. Well, no, um, especially if you're wearing your open, like, what do you call those? Sally Janes? Mary Janes? Mary Janes. Yes. Mary, Sally. Whatever. Um, it actually, it's more of a texture thing. I just don't like it down. It's irritating. It's irritating. And I don't like it down on the bottom half of my foot because I have issues. Mm -hmm. um, so I stopped it early. I also, these are supposed to be on like a 60 something base of stitches. And I'm like, no, wait, just no. Yeah. So you just added stitches where the lace pattern wasn't? Exactly. Um, I just added instant. I followed the lace pattern, not really the sock pattern per se. Like, I mean, I even did a different heel on these because I just did my standard. Um, it, you just, you take your normal, whatever sock pattern, vanilla yeah. pattern you like, and you're just adding in that panel. So exactly that's know. exactly what i did you can do a different toe you can do a different heel what is your go-to heel um the eye of partridge oh. no short row short row okay um but i fit like it's supposed to be twisted around the sock so i just once i got it long enough that you know it, it twisted properly i just rearranged the needles and went okay yeah it's now that's centered good. so it worked but Two socks. Okay. Very nice. More socks. So those are done. This yeah, is out of um, East Yorkshire Spinners. West. Um, West Yorkshire Spinners, sorry. There is a East Yorkshire and they probably have a spinning guilt. This is Britain we are talking about here. But it is West Yorkshire Spinners yarn, um, which you can get in Canada now. This was actually sent to me as a, a gift from a viewer years ago now. Um, because I'd never knit with it. And it is wonderful wool. You know where I get mine? Bente sends me his cane every Christmas. <laughs> um, here in Canada, uh, yarn. Yeah, I saw that. And isn't that the same yarn that uh, Selma said she knit some socks with recently and she was quite surprised she could get it so readily? Probably, yeah. Does the Perth store have it? I don't know. I Unraveled? think. Uh, Unraveled? I don't know. Mm. I think. Um, Wabi Sabi does though. Okay. Unraveled's but, dangerous. It's free shipping. I just um, I've been getting a lot of stuff from Yarn Canada, which is out of Edmonton. Yeah. So they they're free shipping over $80. The I think. other one, True True North, I think, is the other one I, I've used. It's a it's a yarn website. So anyway. So that is a faux. That is a faux. Uh, I have two tiny foes and then you can just take on the rest <laughs> today is going to be Liz's show um <clears throat> so I've made some Tunisian pot holders and it's based off of I think I showed this book last time right My yeah uh book. if you didn't show it you had talked about it yeah so this is the pot holder it's based on and so Tunisian uh, do I, I even have one on the needle? So Tunisian, I'll just show you them. So I made two panels and then I just did, that's like a crochet border. And on the back, it, it just looks like, um, what do you call that? I have no idea. But I made that one and I made a green one and it's like two layers. So it's really, really awesome. And now I can actually put them in my kitchen. I've had them for like weeks. So those two, and it's the Dishy from Knit Picks. So I have a one panel that's done here. And I'm actually making, so I only have enough for three panels. So I'm having to make the next one in a different color. And so I've already got it on a hook. So with Tunisian crochet, you're adding the, the stitches, the loops to the hook to the end, and then you're coming back and then resolving those and you start with one and then you so it's, this is so the it's, um it's kind of a cross between knitting and crochet 
It is. The crochet, you resolve each stitch. Yeah, this is a simple stitch, which is quite easy. And um, there's a pattern I want to do, and it's the, um, it looks like knitting. It's a knit stitch. It's actually really cool. I made a hat. My first project was a hat, and it's like, you can't tell that it's knitting. And so you have a cord. For this, I don't really need a cord, but, uh, you know. Just in case. Yeah. And I'm holding that in one of my little ball sacks. It's perfect. With bees. And that's my foes. Faux show. So put that one down because that's the whip. Um, so I have two sets of gloves that fingerless mitts that I've made. And yes, they are in black. Um, these are for Sue's daughter, Ash, who loved the mitts I made for Christmas. Um, She's like, I really like those when we were driving. I'm like, paws off. So she's getting her own, doesn't know this yet, but she's getting her own pair. This is the Mummer's pattern out of saltwater, saltwater mittens. Mm -hmm. um, I just, instead of doing it with the full top on them, I just stopped them at the oh, appropriate length. They fit them. perfectly. I yep. love them. So there's those ones. And then these are for Ash's man, Rohan. Um, both of whom love black, which they're Cascade 220 Superwash. Um, yeah, this was just the Superwash stuff. So yep. these are, and yeah, he's going to, he's going to be very pleased because I've made him <clears throat> a black cowl. He's got a black hat. I made him a blue hat and now he's got a black sweater. <laughs> yep. And these are the warm mitts, W-A-U-M. Um, w A U M? Yes. Okay. Uh, by Tracy Hill. And super simple pattern. Free. Which ones did you not want to give up? Those? It was these ones. Yeah. So I, I asked her to mail them directly to her. So she, they have no idea they're coming. Yeah. So that's, and luckily they don't watch. So it's all good. So those are more foes. Cool. These were like these were an evening knit I think I knit these and the other ones are a little more thinking but they're even and, what, when... and what's funny too is the ones you made me are the teal green and I actually have a hat and I'm making a cowl like it's almost identical so the one it's one of the very good things about cascade is they do tend to be fairly good with um colors keeping their colors consistent yeah um their 220 is definitely no longer a worsted. It used to be. It's what is it now? Eric? It's DK. It, oh, it's DK. It's gotten so, thinner. And the worsted that the um, the Cascade 220, whatever Merino, that's supposed to be worsted, but it's a DK. Yeah. Um, they moved their factory probably 10 years ago now. Okay. Uh, from South America, I believe it was, I want to say it was Peru, over to China. And yeah. for a while there, like I wouldn't even buy them because the quality had gone so bad. But yeah, it's gone back up and it's, it's gone back up. They are no longer, 220 is no longer a true worsted. No. I mean, you can use it as a worsted. You can, you can get gauge if you need to. Yeah. It's a little thinner than it was, but it works. It's super wash. For the price and 220 yards per skein. Yeah. Not yeah. going to complain. No. So these are both done, like I said, Cascade 220. These are done in black. And I think the gray is silver is the, the color name. Cool. And then I have, I think I showed these last time. Yes. I think I was working on this. Yes. So these are from my friend Brent. Hi Brent, because Brent actually Coming. watches the show. He's Coming. not an editor, but he watches the show. Um, and if you've ever heard like dinging in the background um, while the show is going on, that's him. <laughs> Mine's on vibrate. So is mine. Unfortunately, it's the computer that dings. So, and I haven't figured out how to make it stop dinging. So, these are mitts, which is a pattern I figured out because he wanted barber pole mitts. 
And then this is the test pattern hat. And that is actually the name of- I know. I think it was the name of the design uh, was what she said. Like the name of the actual pattern was called test pattern. Uh, Heidi Narum. Mm -hmm. um, and it is <laughs> fully reversible, which I can- Look how you wrote the word cascade in the show notes. Hmm? Look how you wrote the word cascade in the show notes for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> CUS six ADE. <laughs> oh, a lot of times because I'm writing on my tablet, I'm actually. I know. I just like to tease you. Yeah, the um, the writing recognition and my chicken scratch don't always match up. No. Um. So hats now finished. That's oh, wow. really nice. It is. And these are all done out of the Cascade 220. Is it reversible? Shut up. Fully reversible. Oh my. He's spoiled. Yep. I asked him if he wanted like just a regular, you know, car hat for winter or if he wanted like the full on, I'm waiting for a bus in oh, Ottawa. Oh right, this was the double knit pattern that you didn't do double knit. Yes. Okay. This is a, a double knit pattern that I didn't. I started it out double knit and then remembered why I don't like double knit and switched it. So when you're switching from double knit to something else, you just have to go down a needle size and you're fine. So nice. That, and then the one you guys haven't seen because this one wasn't finished, I used the rest of the yarn to make a. You made him a scarf? I made him a scarf. Oh my God. I hope he knows how spoiled he is. Oh, he does. He does. Um, I've known I, this man for I mean, decades now. So. Bus stop, bus stop, ain't got nothing on his clothes now. Bring on winter. Yep. Um, and he lives in Ottawa, so it's cool. And the man, poor man doesn't drive, so he takes the bus. Nice. Um, so this is... Not as long as I was hoping to make it, but I ran out of yarn. But it'll so work. as long as it's, it's going to get. It's nice. Oh yeah, it, like I tested, it goes all around and you can uh, fold it up and whatnot. So it will work perfectly. It's just not like Doctor Who scarf length. Yes. Um, and it is also doubled because it was knit as a tube. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, it was knit so as that's, a tube. Oh my God, that's going to be so warm. Oh yeah. Um, and this is this. This is Flaunt Your Colors was the name of the pattern by Kathy Waldy. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of played fast and loose with the, the striping on it. As you do. So, as, you, as one does. Um, so I could get the maximum amount of length out of it, which is why the stripes are varying sizes and whatnot. Um, the other thing I did was instead of doing like a circular cast on, mm -hmm. and I okay. did um, Judy's magic cast on, and then cast off the other end as if I was doing the toe of a sock and kitchen it. Yeah. So, um, no, none of the ends are woven in. They're just tied really, really well on the ends. Extra warmth. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so, yeah. So all of these, so these three, and then these two will be going in the mail on Monday, Tuesday, winging their way to Ottawa. That's nice. Do you have anything else or should I keep going? Go ahead. I'm done. All righty. Okay. And then I had started this, this is Paris and Berlin. Um, and I'd originally started it, uh, out of the Christmas yarn from Bente, but didn't care for how it was progressing. And then I remembered that I had this lovely, lovely skein of yarn, which is um, Knit Circus. Mm -hmm. Ooh, cashmere. Oh yeah, yeah. This is MCN. Nice. It is lovely. Um, and I used every single scrap of it that I could. So it is longer than the pattern calls for. How many yards did you use? 
Um, it is or meters, whichever you want to say. 420 yards it doesn't have meter on here. So I okay. Know. So they, that's nice. That's a nice, that's a, your average gain of, is it fingering? Yep. It's fingering. So this is your average gain of sock yarn. <sighs> I think okay. I need to make one of those. It is, it's a fantastically easy pattern. And how does um, it wear? Like, how do you like it around your neck? See, I'm someone who doesn't like stuff around my neck, but if I'm dressed up for winter, you can't tie that shit tight enough around my neck. <laughs> That's that really line, nice. It is. It's not blocked yet. No. So it will actually expand. And you don't have as much fabric back here, right? That's yeah. the thing that bothers me a lot. Because it. Yeah. And if you do it to pattern, um, you lose about half of what's back here. Because it's not as. Yeah, it's um, not written for that. Yeah. You just kept repeating. Exactly. I kept repeating the, the diamond pattern in here. Yep. Um, really nice. Uh, used so what are you going to do with the advent yarn then? Um, that is going to be, yeah, because this is literally all that's left. It's apparently I didn't weave the ends in yet either. Eh. Um, let me pull it up and I will tell you. I am going to make Quicksilver. Oh, right. I think you said that. Melanie Berg. Yeah. So that's the pattern I'm going to make. Okay. Nice. I think it's only meant for three colors. But you can. But, uh, yeah. That's not a big deal to change up. And I really like the way it's done. And because of how it's um, sort of modular, it can be expanded without yeah. it looking weird. Mm -hmm. um, which was part of the problem when I was doing this was I didn't like, there was definite linear transitions. And then I had fart, like it, it was too much. Yeah. Um, so. Nice. Yep. Is that it? That's my foes. And the foe parade is over. The parade is over. Nice. So we can go into uh, whips, works in progress. I will start. I cast on, thanks Benta, always going to blame her for this one. So the stripes, can you see that? There we go. Stripes by Andrea Mowry. Mine will be much longer because yeah. It is. They've been trying to convince me to cast this on. I don't think I have enough DK. It's fingering. Oh, is it? I thought I'm it was fingering. Oh. Hmm. So I went through my big old basket of 20 gram skeins of yarn and pulled out various bunch. So this is what I have so far. Oops, wrong side. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. And then is that the one? Yeah, I've got them like I had to take them out and put numbers so I knew which one would be next. But it's so I'm doing a, a um a tonal and a speckle, like tonal speckle, tonal speckle. Um, so yeah, and I had it about, just about where the green was almost done and realized I hadn't done the short rows right. Mm. You start your short rows right in the yellow before you switch. And then you're doing short rows throughout like this whole part here. You can probably see it. Yeah, cause you'd wanna do short rows for the whole. Um... Yeah, so you're doing short rows on the back and I hadn't done it properly. And one of my favorite stitch markers that my bestie sent me. Was that honeycomb with the bee? Yep. Oh, that is cute. It was, they were on separate ones and I just put them all in the same ring. <laughs> so this is being worked on, um, the main body is 3.75. And I didn't, I, this is Chow Goose. I won't say it in, in uh, acquisitions, but I bought myself a, a set of chow goos to try. I'm not a convert yet, but I find the tips, the, the sound the tips of the needles make weird. They make a go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh sound. I'm used to a clicking sound. And it's just, okay. I just find like, it's a weird sound for me. Like I'm not, but they're nice. They're nice to knit with the cord. 
doesn't like go all over the place like you know these things now, is that the um those are the reds is that the one with the steel inside the cord um i don't know they don't they don't you can see it if it's if it well, is. they don't keep their memory you'd be able to tell because you can actually see them like you no. can see there's a, a twisted metal core i can't tell okay then it isn't because it would be a lot stiffer right yes yeah no they they bend they just don't stay like they don't keep that that whatever you want to call it uh. and i have this in a bag that i got from venta it's my moomin bag I love this. And this is, it says FRK Petrine. And I think FRK means Mrs. So she got me that. I really love it. That's one whip. Do you want to do one? I've been carrying everything around in my uh, nice Lillier Nekazuki bags. I, I have like the whole set of them in this bug fabric. Cause at one point Katie messaged me and she's like, I have this, do you want them? Is, is that even a question? Yeah, exactly. Pink pugs. Yeah, and I have the blue, I have this one in pink and in blue. So it's the reverse. Um, and there's another one of these, two of these. I have a lot of pug bags, basically if it has bugs on it, I'm probably going to say yes if you, you go. I have hook bags for sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's another one. There's another one around here somewhere then because I've got another piece of knitting in one, but it's socks. So whatever. It's pug dog yarn from Ancient Arts Yarn, is the colorway in a pug bag little obsessive i mean in case no one can hear the snoring in the background it's i have a pug yeah. um so this is what i am currently working on and some of you might notice the might recognize the yard from when i was doing the red vent um which i ended up i didn't like it in the yarn yeah i'm like yeah so i'm going to do red vent in a solid color um but i'm doing this this is the VBAC. And I've just gotten to the uh, short rows. You've made one already, right? I have, and I hated how it turned out because I didn't read the pattern properly. Eh, I got this. Yeah, yeah, always read the pattern. So I missed a whole bunch of, there's decreases that I missed, which meant the bottom half of it was this weird, flag waving thing <laughs> over my back yeah it, it did it didn't look good at all so it's already been mostly frogged so I have done one of these before um that is pattern yep the VBAC T because she's got a couple of different ones and it's Jamie Hoffman and I really do love if you read the pattern it's a fantastically written pattern if you read it, it makes perfect sense if you read it um, and then follow what she says. Now I am, because I have a very long torso, sorry, I dropped stitches there. Um, there's a point where she says, if you want to make it longer, insert length here. So that's what I've done. Um, like you're inserting length without doing any of the increase, decrease. Well, what you do is um, the front, like this length here is only supposed to be I think it's 10 and a quarter inches and oh, yeah mine's 14 and a bit because again so, so I want the total length to be quite a bit longer like several inches longer than what she calls for yeah. um and so I just I add, you basically just you hit a point where you just keep going with the v pattern and then once you've done that then you start the uh, short rows, which is where I'm at right now. Okay, cool. That really looks nice. Oh yeah, I yeah. love it. And this is um, Blue Brick Yarns. Mm -hmm. I wanna say the colorway is Ibis, but, I, or, but I'm not 100% sure. Cool. 
So the other thing I have, and it's changed quite a bit since the last time you saw it, is my Ooh, yes. sweater number 14 v-neck. <clears throat> and I have done. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So now, right now I'm doing the back, which I want to be much longer than the front. So like I've barely got it passed. Um, and when I tried it on before I started the ribbing, it was just below the belt. So it's going to be nice. It's going to be very big, which is exactly what I want. So then I have, once I've done that, I think I'm gonna do two more inches of that. And then I'm gonna do the neck part and then I'll do the sleeves. And I'm knitting that out of Patton's Lincoln Fog in this nice carol, caramelly brown color. I don't think I've gotten into the second pack of six. So there's six per, per pack that um, when, you bought, when you buy it at wool time. And so if I have like five or six left, like Bente made two sweaters out of what I sent her. So no, it's, it's really soft. Um, what is it I wanted to say? It's called Bark. Thanks, 75 man. acrylic, 25 wool. Yeah, so I can't wait. And this is on uh, five millimeters. And I have this in one of my Buku bags. quite big she's local I like it yeah so a couple more rows of that just I hate ribbing I hate doing ribbing at least it's ribbing on big needles so it goes quickly it is and then ever since I learned how to do the Norwegian pearl and the continental knit ribbing goes really fast when it's Nina showed me that I was just like oh my awesome so that's my other whip do you have another one so I have one more. No, go for it because I'm not getting up to get the sock that is like less than an inch. Um, so this is a bag of 10 gram minis uh, from most of them I think are my advent from Benta this year. And I'm doing a corner to corner crochet blanket. I frogged what I showed last time. I think I had three or four squares. I hadn't really understood the pattern and things were kind of, they, they weren't symmetrical. And if you know me, things went pear shaped. Oh, uh, it wasn't literally, it really wasn't good. Um, so I started off with this blue and I've worked my way across. It's basically like a mitered square, but crochet. Um, so I'm just not picking colors. I'm just like, whatever. I've had to rip back many times. I think I have 11 across. Yeah. And now I'm working my way down, which this one, I'm not quite sure I'm liking the stripey parts. I might take it out. It's, it's like, it's not cohesive. Yeah, because everything else is it's kind of tonal or speckled or. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm enjoying that. Quite addictive, quite easy. Like I can do a square while we watch like a can I do a square in a movie? Yeah, I can do a whole square during a movie, but it's just, but I have to pay attention because at one point you have to start decreasing and all of a sudden <laughs> going, I'm going, and all of a sudden I've got this like, rip, oops, rip it back. but it's quick. It's crochet. You rip it back. And this is on a 3.5 millimeter. So it's a mix of my 2020 and 2021 advents from her, but you need 10. If you don't have 10 grams, a lot of them, you might not make it depending on the twist of the yarn. And like, I have tiny little bits of some of them left, which will just go into my granny stripe blanket. And it's in my Christmas bag. And that's it for whips. Yep. Yep. Uh, we have uh, winners from the knit along that we did last year. Two people haven't contacted me. So there's still two prizes to claim. 
please go back and watch episode 23 if you entered and contact me, Crafty Knitter 7, via Instagram, please, with your address. If I don't get it contacted by the next time we podcast, I'm going to draw two new names. Yep. It's been a month. <laughs> so you get a month and a half because we podcast every two ish weeks. Yeah, exactly. That's and our new Mel, do you want to talk about our, yeah, do you want to talk about our new knit along this year? Sure. Um, what were we doing for a knit along? Patterns and stash. Because I suggested it. Patterns and stash along. <laughs> Patterns and stash along, which I have already failed at. Um, I think my cold sheep lasted six days. I ordered yarn a few days ago. You lasted longer than I did. Well, I had to support my friend Alex in the UK. You know, yeah. I bought the birthday bonanza yarn and that other one just fell into the bag. So yeah, I, I had to order the yarn for these and but it's not stash if it it's knit right away. I accidentally ordered two sweater quantities. It's gonna get knit right away. Sure. Put a stitch on the needle. It's not stash anymore. <laughs> so the premise which, you know, both Sue and I have failed at already this year, yep. is to knit what you have, basically. So knit from stash. With knit the patterns from you have. Stash. Which I may have bought a pattern too. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm okay with the patterns so far. Unfortunately, there's several new ones out that I've looked at and gone, no, no, that has to happen. Um, so the idea, in theory, is to, to knit from what you have. And so. whips are welcome. Uh, it's a pattern in stash along. So we said weaving, crochet, cross stitch, sewing, you name it. It's yep. something in your stash, your crafting stash, go for it. Yep. Yep. And we have um, chat. I think it's a, a combined thread, isn't it's it? It's a chat FO. And whenever it's done, I'll just choose prizes according to whatever random number generator i'll get an fo and then i'll just run it again till until that's done um yeah the only stash i have was the needles i did get my last yarn club but it's in the other room i can i won't even say i'm going to put a picture up because i probably won't yeah but i so have <sighs> yarn that i bought which can wait until the next time because yeah, no big deal. Um, what else did I want to mention? Oh, I did buy a pattern, as I just said. And it's Alex, my yarny corner, the one I just ordered yarn from. She put out her first shawl pattern in its crochet, and it's called Autumn Wing Shawl. Ooh. Isn't that cute? That is cute. It uses three different colors. So you have three, it's sock weight. But what I'm going to do. I was thinking of crocheting a corner triangle corner shawl with this, with one of these, but I think I'm just going to make her shawl and make it a gradient. I got these, I, was it in Athens or was it in Turkey on our cruise in 2019? And I just don't know what to make with them. So I'm thinking maybe this one, cause you know, spring is coming, but then this one really draws my attention. Mm. I just I'm not sure so I've got plenty of yarn this is called yarn art so it's yarn art dot info and it's called it's the flowers and this oh they don't have colorway names 20 253 and 274 and they both have a an easy start can't see that can you no, not really. Yeah, like there's a, here, this one might be better. Oh, cool. So I can't decide which one. Um, but I've wanted to crochet a shawl for a long time. I'm sure the corner granny triangle would be easier, but I'm interested in trying that. So yeah, I had to buy a pattern. Just had to do it. Um, besides 
that I've watched a gajillion podcasts. Uh, I'll name them quickly. And I'm just like addicted. My Yarny Corner, of course, with Alex. Arctic Crafts, which Bente has changed her podcast to the epilogue lady. <laughs> it's very fitting. She's like, I'm going with it. And she also has another section called Bente's Bag of Hope. <clears throat> Sorry, Holdings, which could be anything. It's a D&D reference, apparently. It is. So anything can go in there and you can put as much as you want. Like, there's no end, which I thought was really cute. And she's put out a, a few different um, episodes now. Woolly Witchcraft with Brogan from Scotland. Have you watched her? You gotta. All the links will be in the show notes, Liz. Uh, my friend Summer with Summer Knits, she just put out a new episode and she just posted, I think yesterday or the day before, she's got the, um, she goes over what she made in 2021. I've watched a lot of those. What do you call that? Like a year in review kind of year thing? in review. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Needles at the Ready with Kevin and Ray. Those two make me laugh so hard. Uh, Sweet Tea No Shade with Scott and John. The stories that they tell about his mother are just uh, Fleece and Harmony, which is in um, Prince Edward Island. And then Andrea Mowry, I'll knit and spin if I want to. She posts something every Friday and she answers questions from viewers. Um, but now she's added like a spinning thing to it and she's doing a spin along and they're, they're quite, they're short, but they're, they're kind of cool. And that's all I have. And yeah, I've got many more podcasts in my queue. It's just like, watch later, watch later, watch later. But I can watch them while I'm working. Which yep. is kind of how I get through them. Because otherwise, there'd be just be no way. No way. And I think that's it. Yeah, I have a tendency to lately queue things up while I'm, because I'm trying to walk more. But unfortunately... I live in Canada and it's winter, so I've been walking on a treadmill in my basement and I have a TV set up down there. That's awesome. Yeah. And I've been keeping up with my knitting journal. I, I changed it to something different because I didn't like the first one I got. Um, so I've got, got my projects in here. I've got, um, when I finish stuff, I'm going to post it. What else do I have in here? Hibernating. So do I want to keep it hibernating or frog it? Um, oh, I did a spinning grid. So I've got a calendar and I'm going to, as you can see, January is a bust. Yep. I'm doing mine electronically. Yep. Um, what else do I have in here? <clears throat> I mean, I've got everything, like all the crafts. Uh, where is it? There it is. Um, yeah, there's the hibernating. I've got sewing, shop ideas. There's like, it just goes on. Finished objects, notes, like I've got everything in here. And I've got my little Perry Page printer so I can print these cute little black and white photos. The other thing that I've picked up again recently is this is my book. So the one I've written, I am actually editing it. <laughs> it is being edited. You have people waiting. Yep. So it is actually in the process of being edited. Mm -hmm. um, what is the premise of the book? Since some it, people might not know. It's paranormal romance type thing. It's, it's your typical. You had sent it out to be looked at, right? Yes. Okay. That'll be exciting. Yes. We'll see how long it actually takes me to finish the editing. Yeah. I mean... That's time consuming and you can't do huge chunks, right? Yeah. And I have to go through it, edit it, and then actually do the updates to the, the full version after it's edited. So it'll, it'll take some time. It'll take some time, but it's getting done. Little chunks. Little chunks. It hasn't been pieces. in two years. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. You got people who want to read it already. So... I do. I mean, Nina will blink and she'll be done, but hey. <laughs> you guys blink, your knitting's done. She blinks, she's done a book. Yeah, I do that too. I know. I can't. 
I listen, yeah. I listen to books, but even then I'd rather watch it. <laughs> I'd rather watch YouTube. Yeah. I, um, put on like, you know, all those lists of, yeah, I want to read a hundred books in a year or something. I kind of look at them and go, that was last week. Yeah. And I'm, I'm how many not, I ended up reading last year or reading or listening to it's a combination I think but it's insane she reads very fast yeah like she can read a book in a night oh yeah yeah if I don't hit a thousand books in a year I'd be shocked I just love the covers of the books they're really good stories but some of the covers you're just like what is it you're reading oh the shirtless man brigade yeah so but that's about it. So please subscribe, like, share the video, come and join our knit along. As we said earlier, distancestitches.com is our blog. We never actually said the blog name. Oh. You're going to have to put that in. I will. I will. Oh, great. Now I have to edit. <laughs> yeah, because I'm useless when it comes to editing. Oh, well, my software is not working well. And so and this is what I paid for and Sean did some research and people are just like, yeah, it's crap. I downloaded something else, which is free. What happens is when I'm editing, I pause it to add a comment. And once I hit play, we don't keep like the video doesn't move, but we're still talking. But if no. you wait a little bit, go back to the front and then push it like play and it'll go past the comments and it works fine. So I don't know if I want to try a new software at this point because I'm used to this one. So it might be a few days before we get this up, but we'll see. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. So hopefully we'll see you in a couple of weeks, not a month, but hey, is what it is. You got us. We finally made it. Yep. Anything else? Nope. Nope. I'm just All right. Huh? Counting. She's <laughs> counting. Yeah. I'm going to just, you know, stop, maybe not stop the recording. Who knows? Bye.